Hello there, it's Magnus here, and in this video I want to take you through a guided tour of Mandolin Secrets Academy. We're going to go through the members area so you can see by yourself what's in there and what it's like. Here we go. This is what the members area look like, and this is what I call the dashboard. And right here we can get access to the three different sections of the Mandolin Secrets Academy. Here is the button called Dashboard where we are right now. Then there's a button taking us to the repertoire section, and I'm gonna show you that in a little moment. And then there is the community. And this button takes us to the announcements section, and there I put announcement as soon as I publish new video and content to the academy, and it's usually once a week. So at first, let us explore the dashboard a little bit. So first of all, there's a welcome video here, with me and right here there's an image taking us to the monthly Q&A call tell you a little bit about that in the moment and down here we have the different categories so start here is a section looks like this with a the guided tour video the success path the progress cycle the community and the success path is a tool that you use so you can determine where, where you are right now uh, as a mandolin player. If you're uh, in the beginner stage, intermediate stage or advanced or things like that. I've divided into five different stages. And there's also the progress cycle. This is a tool that you can use going through the, all the material to make sure you go through the four steps of progress making. And there's also some community guidelines in there. I'll go back to the other categories. And this, the 10x10 challenge, this is a collection of bite-sized lessons that enriches your toolbox. And it's really a way for me to encourage you to pick up the mandolin and play it for at least 10 minutes a day. And right in here, we got the different um, categories as well. So this section with comping confidence videos, that's like lessons for chords and uh, playing rhythm and backup and things like that. Melody mastery is lessons for like scales, licks, arpeggios and things like that. And right here we have exercises that trains your left and your right hand technique and synchronizing them and so you will play with the top-notch technique. And the last category, the fourth one, is fretboard freedom. And this really like challenges your brain a little bit and your way of finding your way through the fretboard, playing in all 12 keys and things like that. And uh, these lessons are very much appreciated by the members. And then there is the complete courses. This is easy to follow step-by-step -step courses for a specific outcome. So all these courses is about 25 to 30 videos each. They are laid out in a step-by-step -step structure, meaning you go through the course starting from with the first video and going through all of one. Also divided into different modules and sections. The Mandolin Foundation, this course gives you a rock solid foundation and makes sure you have all the essential basics just right. So it's everything from the having a look at the instrument itself with different parts, how to hold it, how to stand with it, uh, the left hand technique, right hand technique, mandolin equipment, picking directions, uh, we play the first melodies, learn the first chords. So all these basic things, but so important to have in place. So this course is perfect for a, for a beginner, but it's also a lot of good value here for, for intermediate and advanced players. Then there's the jazz comping guide. This is a step-by-step -step method into the exciting world of playing jazz standard on the mandolin. And uh, the Jazz Comping Guide is all about chords, rhythm and comping. And the sister course to that one is this Jazz Soloing Guide. It's all about melody playing, improvisation and soloing for jazz tunes. 
there's also this course called Memorizing Music. And in this course, I learn you the three techniques that I use for memorizing music. And we go through the Johann Sebastian Bach piece, Goldberg Variations number one. But the techniques that I'm talking here can be applied to both jazz, bluegrass and old styles of music. And here I have another section that I call craft training. This is like mini courses and workshops that makes you grow as a mandolin player. And we got, for example, here three reasons why I think you should play the octave mandolin. Take care of your hands, where I'm sharing my tips of how you take care of your hands and your body for uh, mandolin playing. And the one finger chord and uh, some live workshop replays here. Best mandolin player you can be, the tremolo technique mandolin workshop. Things like that. And right here is the section for replays of our monthly Q&A calls. That is our monthly live hangout. We have a, like a video meeting. We get together and people can ask me or other members questions. Maybe they are like sharing the screen, showing what they are working on right now. That's my favorite part of the Mandolin Secrets Academy. And here we put all replays. And you can also like see for the replays, we also like listing out the different questions coming up. So if you got a question, you can also go through this previous questions because there might be a chance that it's already answered. And here is the button with ebooks. And here is two ebooks that I wrote. It's 10 Jazz Mandolin Licks and Techniques and the Nordic Folk Mandolin 10 Traditional Tunes. These ebooks are included for members. So here we're looking at the Nordic Folk ebook, for example. So all tunes are also demonstrated and taught through performance videos and tutorials. And here in Mandolin Secrets Academy, we also publish updated and improved video edits to make the learning easier for you. All included here. Down here, there's a section called resources. And in the resources, you find links and descriptions to equipment and gear and software that I recommend. And there's also this section with frequently asked questions, where we help you to get the best experience out of your membership. And here's also a button that takes you to the support if you have questions about your account or payments or anything like that. So that's basically what's in the dashboard. I also want to show you a little bit from the repertoire. We click that one and we go in here. And this is a constant growing library of songs and tunes. So here you can explore and learn a variety of music. And the categories are quite self explanatory it's beginner songs nordic folk jazz celtic crossover bluegrass and old time tunes and if i for example click this jazz category here we got a couple of different tunes and maybe we want to look at swing 42 today for example you can choose if you want to go for the chords or the melody so let's now have a look at the chords so I break this down and show exactly how you can do it. But this video is, is actually the play along one, video where, two, where I'm... Uh, one, two, three, four. You can also bring it up to full screen, of course. Yeah. And uh, also what you can do, you, for all the songs, there's also downloads, so you can see here, there's a PDF, for example, that you can download having all these chords for that one right there. You can also download it and print it, of course. And there's also a play long track, so that you can download. And uh, one thing I would like to mention that all the videos, they are meant to be watched with an internet connection online. So it's a streaming video. You can't download the videos, but I included audio versions of all lessons. So if you wanna listen to this while driving a car or uh, taking a lesson when you're at the gym or anything like that, you can download the audio version and, and um, digest the material that way. 
And also one thing I would like to mention for all the posts and videos in here, there is this image saying got a question about this lesson. You can click this image and it will take you straight into the community where you can post your question and I will be happy to answer it for you. And uh, talking about the community, let's go in there also. It's up here, you can find the community function. Here are the different topics in here. Question of the week, introduce yourself, progress log, content questions, troubleshooting, problem solving, gear talk, academy support and feedback, the water cooler, member contribution. Because of privacy reason and respect for my members, I don't want to go into the feed here showing you the actual posts, but this is really where the action happens. And as I said, the Q&A calls are my favorite part of the academy and so is the community. And one last thing that I want to show you, it's this search function here. You click the search bar and maybe you are looking for some tremolo for example and you put tremolo there and here you can see tremolo is showing in this q a call replay in this mandolin workshop also in this replay but uh, for now maybe i want to check this little workshop and it takes us straight to a video lesson where i talk about this topic so the search function is very useful if you want to like get fast access to some specific content in the academy. All right, that's it for now. And I think I covered the most parts of the academy. And if you have any questions, don't hesitate to reach out to me. Hopefully I can answer your question. And with that, I say thank you so much for watching. And I hope to see you in the Academy and I hope to see you in a new video soon. Bye for now.